A contingent of Phoenix police officers will be part of the massive security detail tomorrow in Washington, D.C. for the president's inauguration. But the process of choosing who would go was riddled with controversy. And tonight, only on CBS 5, we have the results of a discrimination complaint filed by five white male officers who claim minorities and women were chosen over them despite their seniority. CBS 5's Donna Rossi dug through the paperwork to get you the straight story. A presidential inauguration full of pomp and circumstance requires a massive security effort. The results of an investigation by the Phoenix Equal Opportunity Department, obtained by CBS 5 News, indicates police higher-ups may have broken the law by using race and gender as one of the factors in choosing officers to participate in the inauguration. Based on what we needed ethnically to balance out the list, he chose the most senior members of that ethnic group and or gender group um, to go. That is Assistant Chief Tracy Montgomery in her interview with EOD investigators. She admits that she and Commander Gary Brassi used race and gender in the selection process. But Montgomery and Brassi also told investigators that they were ordered to do so by the city's top cop. I was told uh, by, by Chief Garcia through Chief Montgomery is that the police chief wanted to, to send a diverse representative, representative group to Washington. An email by Montgomery also indicates that matching the inauguration team to the ethnic and gender breakdown of the department was the expressed desire of the police chief. Investigators questioned Chief Daniel Garcia, but his interview was not recorded like the others. The report notes that Garcia admitted to being the one to request diversity, but Garcia's name was left off the complaint. EOD has given the green light to the five white male officers who claimed they were discriminated against to file suit if they desire. No word on if they will. The results of the EOD investigation will be turned over to police internal affairs for possible investigation. Montgomery and Brassi may face discipline, but the man who ordered and okayed their discriminatory practice seems to have gotten away unscathed. Donna Rossi, CBS 5 News. Now, we have been asking city management to talk to us about this case. They said they were still working on it and would talk when it was over. Yet, all of the documents CBS 5 obtained clearly states that the EOD case concluded weeks ago. So we will continue to press them until your questions are answered.